What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. This is about to be three market watches shoved into one once again with the amount of cards I'm about to show. So if you enjoy this pacing, there is a join button down below to directly support the channel, get yourself custom emotes, uh, roll in the Discord, as well as I'll be hitting you with some exclusive giveaways for channel members. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting with Triple Burst Dragon. If you told me a bit ago that this would be a $15 Ultra, I would have thought you're a little crazy. But the Guard Dragon engine goes into this with relative ease to get out of the Dragon Lock that their effects present. And we see this up here on eBay as well. Now, this isn't necessarily new. I knew it went up to $9. I just Hadn't seen it gone to $15, and I think that's relatively something to say about the Guard Dragons being in Savage Strike. These are not getting reprints now, and when I look at similar abused engines in the extra deck, yes, the Nightmare's a little more generic in their use for being able to pop stuff. It's still pretty crazy to look at their prices from where they once started as super rares, and we see the Guard Dragon engine splashed into stuff like Thunder Dragons, Pendulums. It's specifically just that good, so I would suggest getting your Guard dragon sooner than later now that we know we probably aren't seeing reprints for these for about what uh a year almost till next march most likely so hey you might want to get in that speaking of savage strike pot of extravagance continues to march upward but you'll see independent sellers come in with near mint copies a little bit lower so if you're really hunting after this card you're like i'm playing stun for nationals i need myself a pot of extravagance shop smarter than harder and just kind of wait around but it does seem to continue to march upward on both platforms. Where it stops, your guess is as good as mine is. It's in a lower fraction of the topping decks, yet it's still held in such a high regard. Next up, we have Super Quantum Mech Beast <laughs> Scrambles. I can't do this seriously with a serious face. Bought out on TCG Player for the rare, the ultimate, not budging in on eBay. The rare still relatively easily available. Uh, I, I don't know who did this or why, but it's a thing. Senju of the Thousand Hands and King of the Skull Servants have gone up over time. Now, I'm a pretty big fan of looking at these new reprints and saying, hey, that's good stuff for the speed dual sets. Keep that up. When we're looking around the rest of the speed dual set, well, all the prices have been going down for the most part. Sphere Karibo locked into that format as an ultra rare. Uh, it's not performing as well because there's just not that many tournaments still that matter for speed duels. It was nice of them to do Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, but we need something bigger and better. And then you have Call of Haunted falling all the way towards $5. I remember when this was uh, a solid 30 for a day or two, and then it fell towards 50 it's only gone down downhill from there and we also see uh just everything else from the set relatively affordable so the newer cards that people want as classics hollowed up in their highest rarity that's what people seem to be taking from these sets and we see over on ebay a little bit cheaper at three before it's more expensive and over here king of the skull servants super rare going up high as well i would actually say king of the skull servants has a higher ceiling it's got this kind of fan base that really holds on to it you see white mare constantly above ten dollars even white prince i believe is above a dollar at this point so i would say i see king of the skull servants maintaining a decent price as long as it doesn't see another buyout now let's get to the real collectible market buyouts with first i can't believe this elemental hero bubble man 800 to a thousand dollars all the 300 near mint ones disappeared the 400 dollar near mint ones disappeared 600 over here on ebay this is ridiculous to me the the collectible market is going through an insane bubble right now. I guess everybody got their tax returns. People are finally throwing down where they want to throw down. And when we continue through, let's just look at some of these buyouts. Uh, Goat format, Sakuretsu Armor is really up there towards, you know, $80, $100. The market price, 62 I'm sure the sales rates aren't that good, but we see uh, a German one at 100 before. It's 275 for light play English. Now, typically, foreign copies of collectible cards don't go for as much. This holds true for many card games, such as Pokemon. So, we realistically, when you're looking at these cards, want to have English copies of them, and we'll see that again later throughout here. Magician of Faith, Near Mint, Unlimited, almost $200 for the super rare. 
go ahead and grab yourself a, uh, <laughs> what is that, the Dasa Ultra? Uh, yeah, Duelist Saga Ultra. Go, go ahead and get yourself and treat yourself to one of those, because I'm not ever thinking about paying that much. And 300 on eBay, so the entire, like, GOAT format has been targeted, sniped, and it's gone through multiple buyouts throughout the last weeks, and it's just hit another one it's it's crazy out here we see over a hundred dollars if you want there's not even a near mint one psa 10 oh yeah good luck with that eight hundred dollars and we come over here we see uh light play light play light play uh, so with champion pack five a problem was there was a lot of foil edging just straight out of the pack it's really hard to get yourself near mint copies of magical merchant they just came out of the pack this way and you can see it in this picture that's how a lot of trap dust shoots look it's how a lot of cards out of cpo5 look you're gonna have a tough time getting near mint out of cpo5 and uh they've only become more scarce metamorphosis over here so last time we showed this there was like a 450 near mint people were trying to go towards that 500 point now the lowest is 500 freaking 80 over here and that actual psa graded one has disappeared i actually wonder if it did sell let's Kind of check out sold items and go to ended recently to see what's been happening. Uh, it looks like, yeah, uh, the guy accepted a best offer, it looks like, for a PSA graded 10 gem mint one. And uh, the other one that was just a buy it now seems to have just disappeared off the market. But when I was talking about the uh, eBay uh, having different kinds of text as in foreign text italian here is the los you know it's near mint 280 on the market versus you know 570 people realistically just want to get rid of their foreign copies of these collectible cards and that's how it is it's easier to get over there apparently and the market hasn't swung as crazily either now, totally awesome, still sitting up towards 15. People have asked me to cover this again because I think it was like towards 1250 where I covered it or something. Uh, this gets used with Mega Zaborg to get dumped to be able to get Necros pieces back to hands. It also is used in Prank Kids and of course Paleozoaks. People keep asking me what I think about them this format. I think they have a shot, but with Triple Denko and Triple Red Reboot just naturally in a lot of side decks, I think you're going to have a bad time with Paleo in this specific metagame. Demise of the Land has seen a buyout and is cooling down, apparently, from where it was at. So, when your opponent special summons a monster, select a field spell card from your deck, activate. We're back into Mystic Mine Hypu. I don't think a lot of them will be choosing to play this as this depends on the opponent you'll just get locked in under Denko Saka instead of being able to play preemptively you have your three metaverse you have your three Lilith you have your three physical copies you have your two terraformings you have your three trap trick is that not enough I don't think people realistically need demise of the land but again trap trick is a very expensive card so maybe not everybody willing to go with trap trick or having the money so the cheaper options naturally bump on up it just seems to happen that way sometimes times in the market next up spell canceler another anti spell mine card that's being talked about uh it's a decent option but you're playing against a burn deck that's likely to end up playing ring of destruction so when you play this kind of an out you commit the resources to tribute summoning something and uh lowest 11 here you end up getting Ring of Destruction by them because they can just Lilith for it. They can Trap Trick for it. You're not shutting off their back row. You would realistically need something like Danko and Spell Canceler, and you're looking at a pretty hard time of getting that combination together without them having flipped stuff up. I don't know. I just, I, I see this as a, initially I thought this would be a good option against the Field Spell, but then... Ah, you're committing quite a bit to get Ring of Destruction. Millennium Eyes Restrict is up, 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 and that's just one of the best instant fusion targets out there. And uh, what it does, essentially, when you instant fusion this out, you're able to combat hand traps with his effect. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster activates his effect, quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard. Equip that target to this card. Uh, it gains the attack. Monsters with the same name as the equipped monster by this card's effect cannot attack. Also, negate their effects. So this is just kind of an 
anti-hand trap, pop off your turn kind of card with Insufusion. You can go straight up into Link Rebo. It's been an amazing option without a reprint. I could realistically see, since they're finally touching cards from Legendary Duels in reprint sets, I could see this ending up in Battles of Legend, and I really hope Ancient Gear Fusion finds its way there too. But uh, continuing on, Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium, if you can find a sealed box somewhere, these are 250. Do keep your mind and eyes aware of that and be looking out for it. <laughs> looking pun. You see what I did there? Insufusion Ultimate Rare is something I would always suggest getting. We've seen it go past the $45 mark before. It's We're heading towards the WCQ season and with the collectible market, I think in the future sometime, this will be up there with the Ghost Sisters and the likes of other cards that are just up there in terms of pricing from ultimate rares it's as classic as solemn strike it's as good and ends up in the metagame a lot when you see combo decks popping off don't uh, underestimate instant fusion this cup of noodles it always finds a way back and you see these mid-range hollows all holding great price i could only see this going up over time and finally just another instant fusion target people might have forgotten about invoked raijin one of the best warriors to be summoning off of instant fusion it only has one printing still and has uh, just been on that slow climb ever since is sold hype and sticks around four dollars so thanks for watching everybody what do you guys think of today's market watch i tried to keep everything with an explanation while getting through in a timely manner uh the collector's market just seizing and going crazy both big and small it's it's all over the place uh wrong wrong small so big and small for the collector's market what do you guys think of what's happening there what do you guys think what's happening with savage strike not getting reprinted in the tens i do want to hear more of your discussions on that and please hit that join button if you enjoy this pacing and uh, want to support the channel directly subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation and uh thanks for watching